On the 29th of June, Minister of Arts and Culture Nati Mtetwa approved the name change for Grahamstown. The minister cites Graham's harmful legacy as a ruthless colonizer as the primary motivation for the change. The decision will see Grahamstown changed to Makanda. Makanda was a Tosa warrior and prophet and is well known for his role in the Battle of Grahamstown. The decision caused quite a stir, with many people posing arguments both for and against the name change. At a name change discussion at the Black Power Station, Masit Hole Heshu explains why the name change is important. It's more than just a name, but it's to remove a lot of terror out of a lot of black people. A lot of memory that is, has been instilled, instilled to them to make them feel as if they are unworthy and to make them regard the, themselves as Abantu who are nothing in this space. But it's important in a way that it is a way of reclaiming and at the same time rescripting a history that has been hidden for the longest time. On the other hand, local group Keep Grahamstown Grahamstown has openly rejected the changing of Grahamstown's name. They argue that the government's notice of this name change was not legitimate. The notice was meant to have informed people, which it didn't, that they have a month to comment or object, and only after that month has expired, then the minister is required by the legislation to apply his mind to the comments and objections, and make a final decision. The name change has caused a discussion filled with differing opinions. Heshu questions the KGG's intentions for wanting to keep Grahamstown's name from changing. Hey, the KGG, keep Grahamstown, Grahamstown. Uh, what I think about the KGG is that the KGG is looking at unnecessary stuff to keep the legacy that is as a reminder to a lot of indigenous people that is a remain, reminder that they don't want to remember. We've said if it is, if it is genuinely offensive, I don't want to live in a, in, a, in a town where people are genuinely offended. While the argument continues, on Tuesday the 7th of August, Minister Mtetwa revealed that he has received more than 330 letters of objection to the name change. He claims that most, if not all, have made claims related to lack of consultation, cost implications, and historical sentiments. He said that the people have now made their voices heard in these letters, and all 332 will be read, acknowledged, and responded to. It is clear that the discussion about the name change and its processing is not yet over, but it is likely that more information will be revealed in the following weeks. This is Stuart Wilson, reporting for Grocott's Mail.